today I want to make a quick video on a equipment uh, cabinet that I have out here and you can see right here it's in a very very uh, sunny area and what was happening with this is I purchased this cabinet and the equipment that was in here was overheating and what's in here is some networking equipment the problem was this cabinet was overheating because it constantly gets sun every day um, this cabinet was bought on Amazon it did not come with these vents I placed these vents and there's some other stuff in here that I'm going to show you what I did but the main problem with this cabinet was that it was in a sunny area and I could not get the equipment to stop overheating. Once things overheat, they shut down and they don't work. All right, so now that we have it open here, we can see what's going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. We have the Netgear wireless router here and it's really tight over here. And because of where this is, you can see it's very sunny. The sun hits this spot here uh, at least six hours a day full on. So what I did was I put some insulation on this uh, uh, box here to see if it worked and it didn't work. Uh, the equipment here, these, this is a wireless router with a, a cable modem. It gets really, really hot and the uh, hot air just stays in here and after it goes over 100, you know, 5 degrees, 110 degrees, it stops working. So um, again, I installed this insulation, didn't do anything. So I ended up buying these dual USB fans and you can see I have it plugged it in right there. Uh, to the back of the uh, so it's right there to the back of the wireless router and it's supplying power to these fans and this is helping tremendously so now this is taking all the air and pulling that hot air out out of the uh, box here and this is also something that I bought on Amazon these cutouts right here so I had to cut them out because the box doesn't come with this so when you buy this box and I'll put a link below uh, the box is really rated for an outdoor box uh, weatherproof which it is it's been raining and there's no water in there you can see some of the water on the edge it was raining this morning um, I also had to cut some holes here it does come with some holes on the bottom for the uh, conduit and stuff uh, for the electrical conduit you can see it right there but I ended up cutting some right here uh, and you can see the box comes with power um, it only comes with one outlet I, I went ahead and installed the other outlet that's here uh, so everything is powered here uh, comes into the conduit and powers the box, but the box is really not meant for uh, uh, For all, all this equipment because it does overheat uh, quite easily and Again, this is uh, I'll post links to all this stuff all the equipment that I have here um, That's the net gear with the built-in um, uh, With the built-in cable modem and I did place it the other way in hopes that the heat would come out this way but unfortunately when you close this box if there's no vents on here which this box doesn't come with the vents uh, you're not going to get the heat exhausted out so uh, one of the things I was uh, thinking about uh, here is these fans are going to be on all the time so I bought this product this terminal USB which I'm going to show you in a second that's going to connect uh, to the uh, uh, net gear and then it's going to supply power to the fans so here we can get a better look at the uh, um, thermal trigger USB controller here you can see on one side there's a USB connector and that's for the load side and then on the other side uh, that little hole right there is for the temperature probe this will only give power or only submit power to the load side um, at whatever threshold you have so once it reaches let's say 88 degrees if that's your temperature threshold it will go ahead and supply power to these USB fans that I have here so you can see this USB connector that's a load side that would connect to these USB fans and depending on the temperature that it reaches if it reached 88 or if you had the threshold at 92 once it's 92 inside this cabinet here it would then go ahead and supply power to the fans instead of having the fans running 24 7 to cool down this cabinet here uh, what it would do is it would do it would do so based on the temperature threshold that you have set up with this so now on this cabinet here once the temperature reaches 88 degrees Theoretically, this should go ahead and send power to the load side, which then powers the fans. And that's how I'm going to keep this cool um, automatically without um, these fans running 24-7, which I didn't want to do. And you can see now that I'm supplying power to the uh, fans. Uh, this is the load side where I plugged it in. And if it's at least 84 degrees, uh, it'll send power. And as you can see in here, even with this open, it's about 84 degrees, which is crazy. So if I turn it off... And I just turned it off, there's no lights on there. You can see it cut the power to it. So now if I set it back to, let's just say 84, it's 84 right now in that cabinet. So you can see it was really hard to cram all this stuff in here, but uh, somehow I did it. Uh, I really needed to get a combination uh, wireless and uh, cable modem. Uh, if I had two separate pieces of equipment, I don't think I would be able to fit it in there uh, because the power supplies are gonna take a lot of room. 
uh, really can only go with a four part uh, PoE switch in this little cabinet um, but this is a cabinet I got from um, Amazon um, it's rated for outdoor uh, and it's basically comes with the uh, AC outlets in here it comes with this black one and then I added that white one there and I'm glad I did but it does have space for two but unfortunately it comes with one receptacle but I added another one um, I mean it's nice uh, I think you have to be aware where you put this cabinet if you put this cabinet in this place where it's only sunny uh, it's gonna be a problem and for me I really had to put this outside I couldn't put this inside uh, the house so really I had to put it next to the main uh, breaker here and as you can see what we did is we took the power from the breaker which is right here on this conduit and goes inside here to the smaller cabinet um, yeah but uh, I had a lot of problems with this because when I put the equipment in there, didn't put no insulation, didn't make the exhaust holes, didn't have the fans, it wasn't really working. So to recap what I did here to make this work was initially I had this insulation on here because what happens is the sun hits this and there's a lot of heat that comes in through this uh, plastic cabinet and heats up the whole inside. So I put this insulation on here thinking that this would stop the heat, but that didn't work. Um, and then my next thing was to add these vents and that seemed to do the trick I also put some more uh, insulation on here on the top where the Sun hits it you can see the Sun here um, but really I needed these exhaust uh, vents in order for this to work and one important thing is usually what you want to do is you want to have one intake here at the bottom and then the exhaust at the top but what I did was instead of cutting a hole here to have an intake and use another intake fan um, there is some holes here at the bottom that I use in order to feed it and I'm hoping that the wind sort of comes in like this uh, pushes the air up and then the exhaust pushes the air out of there the hot air out of this cabinet And that's what ended up working and again for me th This was uh, added after I bought the cabinet. This was not here uh, Same thing with the installation, but what really seemed to be doing the trick uh, Was these fans over here and of course I used the uh, AC infinity uh, to control the temperature So this only goes on uh, when it's a certain temperature in here and I have it uh, If it's 84 and above it kicks on and it's been working great and it's been cooling down uh, this cabinet and you can see it's a, a very 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 sunny area and it's extremely hot in here I bet you it's probably you know it gets close to 100 degrees in here and without these exhaust vents it just wasn't working so you can put a lock on this cabinet which I do have I have a combination lock um, 